Okay. I'm gonna give you guys a room tour of a place that I got down in Central. I get hit by the bad news that I need a yellow fever vaccine. So I'm now leaving Brazil. So at the moment, I am going to Rio from Cabo Frio and I'm going to stay overnight. So in the morning, I'm able to get to the airport and catch my flight to my next destination, Colombia. I'm going to give you guys a room tour of a place that I got down in central Rio, my Airbnb. It cost me the prices here because I literally can't think of it on top of my head. So let me guys show you around. This is the kitchen. Boom, the little fridge. Oh, they didn't give me no water, but that's okay. I already got some. Got a microwave. Oh, there's a blender. And yeah. This is, I guess, the eating area. You get to watch TV. If you want to make some coffee, etc., you have this as well. And here is the bathroom, which there were, I don't think there was any pictures of the bathroom. So let's have a look. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is the bathroom. Let's go into the bedroom area. So I got your little sofa. If you don't want to be too close to the TV. Got your bed that looks... Let me tell you if it feels comfortable. <sighs> oh, it's very hard. I guess it's good for my back. <laughs> nah, I don't... I actually don't mind hard beds. This is the window. You get to see the view of Central. So I'll tell you the noise level at night. It should be fine. Can I open this? Oh, don't tell me I can't. Oh my goodness. I can't get fresh air. I'm kidding. Um, do they have AC? Yes, they do. But, how? oh, right there. There's an air con. So I got the air con right there. Wi-Fi I'm going to be testing soon. And I'll let you know the Wi-Fi. It's got a little working space here. So the Wi-Fi should be decent. Let's hope. It should be good. Uh, Brazil has some really good fast internet, so you won't have a problem if you guys ever get your own internet. But this is pretty much it. So let me tell you my situation that happened. My chest is extra perky, man, and I'm li living for it. So this is the perfect place if you want to catch a flight the next day There are places that are closer, but unfortunately they weren't available. So this was the best option for me It's it's near a lot of good restaurants. The host is so nice She is very very nice very attentive very let me help because this was a last-minute booking The other booking I had they had tenants in their Airbnb and I didn't find out until I messaged them on uh what's up because they never responded to me so i found that weird so i hit them up on what's up and they're like oh sorry we got tenants if you want a refund cancel when i cancelled it said that i was not going to get a refund so the person for you guys that don't know i i never get hotels it's very 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 rare that i'll get a hotel motel airbnbs are just better i want to be within the community within like the people i don't want to be in some locked up at some fancy hotel somewhere you know i prefer hanging out with the locals etc i love that that's how you really get to know a culture etc so obviously my parents my family they all have the address to this airbnb my flight flight tickets if you're going to travel Make sure someone knows exactly where you're going to be, the location where you're staying at. Give them the contact details of the Airbnb. I'm not saying that will change anything if anything happened, but at least it's easier for someone to locate you and see where your last spot was if something was to happen. Okay, so there are some safety tips. Turns out the window does open. You have to pull this, pull this up, and uh, yeah, this is it, guys. Rio, there's actually a little celebration going on down the street. Wow, look at that branch. Can you see that? That branch climbing all up across the building. Out of the building or in the building? I don't even know. How does the branch, how does weed grow like that? So it looks like it's coming down. That's strange. Very strange, a bit cool at the same time. But yeah. So it's now the next day, guys. I ride at the airport and boom. 
I get hit by the bad news that I need a yellow fever vaccine. And of course, I don't want to get no damn yellow fever vaccine. I know it's been around for 80 years, but like... And guys, I tried everything to get on that flight. I even flirted with the supervisor and she was not having it. Why do I have to take it? But it's the only way to get into Colombia. So I would have to take it and then wait in Rio for another 10 days. I wasn't having that and I didn't want that vaccine. So I decided to go to a country that would let me get into their country without taking the vaccine. And if I stay there for eight days, I'm able to enter Colombia without taking the yellow fever vaccine. The ladies helped me, gave me two options, and I chose a country that I never ever heard of in my whole life called Uruguay. First expression so far guys is that this city is cold. It is so cold, almost like Cuenca cold. I'm like oh my god I didn't think it was gonna be this cold. Thank god I got winter gear on because airports are always cold but my neck is not protected, so, and I've got a singlet underneath, so I definitely can be warmer, so I'm gonna wait for this Uber. I don't even know how much it was. I can't wait to see how much it was once I translate the things, once I get home, because over here, everything seems like the cost of living is a lot more higher, so I'm just like, oh my God, thank God I'm only here for a week, so yeah. Now the first thing that popped in my head was like, yo, this place is so quiet and there wasn't a lot of traffic. Yeah, it was like, okay, it was 1am and the guy would lock his door every time he stopped at the traffic light. So I was like, hmm, is this place safe? This suitcase has seen better days. Look at that. Okay, so let's give a tour. Boom. The lip, the beautiful living room where people sit and relax. And sometimes you may watch TV. So that's where the TV's at. Here's the kitchen. Little kitchen here, microwave. Boom, big table. A bedroom and this looks like a caravan bathroom oh my goodness okay it's cute it's cute oh got the hose yeah they got it right i love toilets with hoses man better way to clean yourself yeah i like it this pace so this place cost me around 700 for a week. And I would say for this place in South America is actually a little bit, the cost is high because for this amount somewhere else, like I could get better, you know? Guys, this is the most advanced one I've ever seen. This one can go warm. And the power in this, ladies, if you got glue on your wig, you get one of these, you psh, you hose it down. <laughs> it is so strong, man. I love it. Okay, guys, I'm also going to show you something, but I have to turn the lights off to do this because I don't want people knowing where I live. Well, know that I'm in here. If anyone's watching me, that is. Okay, so this is what I don't like about the Airbnb yeah my window's right there i'm like oh are you fucking serious it's quiet now it's 2 a.m in the morning but what is it gonna be like tomorrow when i'm trying to sleep in i hope it's not noisy man i didn't see any um complaints on airbnb so i am a little bit concerned about that also when i'm filming youtube videos people will what's that in that guy's car that's blinking people is that a camera? All right, so because I've never been here before, I'm dressing pretty low, pretty casual, and um, I'm also going to be wearing this. So this is more flat. You can hide it, conceal it right under your shirt. 
Usually I wear it out like this, makes my booty look bigger. Um, serious note, it's really good to have. You can put it under your shirt. And if someone like wants to rob you, I can wear another bag here and just give them that bag, put some like gym cards in it, make it look like credit cards and just give that to them and run for the hills if they just happen to be um, concealing a weapon. Um, and I might actually do that just to be on the safe side, but what I'm gonna do, I'm going to, cause I've never been here before guys. This is my first time being here. So I'm gonna put all my important things in here, lock it on underneath my clothes and I should be good. Guys, I lost my camera stand for this GoPro. So I'm literally using my hand. I think that is a good thing because then I can conceal it and hide it. So yeah, today I feel like, I feel more of like a police because police officers, I believe carry cameras like this. Oh my God, look how beautiful it is today. Look at the buildings. It's so different during the day. Look at that guy smoking up there. Right now I have my iPhone out. I shouldn't be really doing this, but I need to see where the F I'm going. See, I'm trying to get there. So, this is definitely wrong. It has to be. Okay, so looks like I should be heading up this direction. Once I hit the highway, I'll be able to work out where that little mall thing is. It's pretty big. And then I'm gonna be able to buy data on my phone. So these are the things you have to go to when you go to a new country. You have to really get your data, find a place to live, find your restaurants, find the natural stores that you go to, etc., to really adapt. So far, I'm liking this place. Oh God, I feel like I want to show you that dog, but the owners are right there. They're going to be like, why you put your camera in my, ca my house? But um, I feel so, it feels modern. It feels modern a little bit. It's quite nice and it's pretty chilled. Not a lot of people and it's only 2 p.m. But I'm in the quiet streets, of course, but I was expecting a lot more traffic. Considering the leaves are like this, I guess they do have a summertime because leaves only do this when you have like weather changes, like winter, summer, etc. Now, the reason why I was kind of worried about this place is because when the taxi was driving through the streets, Every time when he paused the car, because you have to check if there's going to be anyone coming over, he would lock the doors. But that was that night, well, early in the morning. So that's why I'm like, is it that bad over here? So, but yeah, the buildings are so nice. I like it. It's giving me small town country vibes with the way how the buildings are leveled out. Guy over there smoking. Oh, he's smoking that junk. A big one. Oh, God. Rubbish. But, yeah, it seems to be quite peaceful. I haven't gone to the city yet. The main square, which I will take you guys. Try to go to the hidden paths, the places where no one goes. No estamos todas flotando las presas. Okay. It's getting cold, man. Oh, look at her dog with no leash. They do that in America, too. It's pretty risky because you might have a dog that will try to bite you. Or you might have a dog with, who's not on a leash and it's aggressive to other dogs. Like, look, there's a little kid there. Could get attacked. And if you see my Thailand video, you know how to handle wild dogs, you know. For example, I'm confident I would walk through. If you're not confident with dogs, walk across the road 
Okay, it's starting to pick up. It's starting to see more traffic, more people. Hopefully we'll hit the main road soon. Hopefully I don't get hit by a car. There's a man, two guys, looking for food. It's pretty expensive out here. I don't blame them. The cost of living here is high. I'm just curious how much they would get for like a normal job. You know, is their normal wage high or low? I was talking to the Uber driver last night and he told me he had two jobs. So, driving late at night, and then during the day he's doing something else. So, to maintain the life he has here. Wow, look at that art. I don't know what it is, but... Some more homeless. Yeah, it seems quiet. Okay, we're close to the main road. Here's a little cafe. Or is it a restaurant? Oh my god, what is their food like? Let's have a look. Oh, look how delicious it looks. Mm -hmm. I don't think they have anything. There's one cookie that might be vegan of it. I just want to get my data. Another dog. See, if that dog goes and bumps into that other dog wearing black, you got problems because that dog doesn't have an owner. My fight might break out. Let's get this moment. Okay, okay, we are close to the main road. It was like a 12 minute walk for me. Wow. Okay, so over this direction, there's like a should be some type of big shopping mall that should be obvious to me but yeah definitely giving me modern day vibes over here A lot of the buildings here I've noticed have like some type of conciliation so during the day the sun doesn't come in. It kind of looks like a garage. It's really interesting. The one up there is way nicer than the ones here. These buildings just have really good curtains. Oh wigs for the ladies. Wow, Afri Africano. What is this? Special skincare. This is really interesting. Hmm. Afra Afra Afranco? I don't know how to pronounce that. Might go check it out later. The guy was giving me a little look. Hey, a lip. I like his fashion lip. Once we get this data, we're gonna go to a vegan buffet. Whoa, look at this place. Abandoned.
God, any minute soon. Should be around here somewhere. It's giving me Quito vibes from Ecuador. Just a little bit. If you remember the mall and the park that we walked through in uh, Ecuador, but this one's obviously hella small. Man, that was last year, right? Wow. We've traveled to so many places and it hasn't even been 12 months. Okay. Ah, here it is. Tres Cruces. So, my data should be in this shopping mall, which I didn't think it would be, but apparently it is because the church is there. And obviously a church is not gonna be, unless there's a shop church. Nah, I doubt that. Okay. Ooh, it looks very big, very modern. Feeling kinda at home in the city, which is so weird. Carbo Frio, man. I should tell you about Brazil in another video. I really wanted to live there, guys, but it was so hard adjusting to it, you know? I like small towns, but that small is a whole other story. And the language on top of that was really hard to learn. So, so let me go for these boys. Hola, como estas? Que? Si, film me. You're a guy. Que? Di donde eres? Tu aquí? Okay, I'm off because I'm not liking the vibe they were giving me. So, I think here is okay. So I'm gonna turn the camera off because usually in malls you can't have a camera on. Now those boys, by the way, they look rough as hell. You can tell in the face, some of them, and they dress better than me. I feel like <laughs> really dressed down, which I don't mind. Doesn't make me a target. This camera does though. Um, oh my goodness, the food court, whoa, it's like a train station or something. Ah, oh, it's a bus station, wow, and a food court at the same time. So let me go find this place. Okay, so basically I walked around the mall to find out I needed a passport to use this certain company. But another company, I just paid 10 bucks. They give me a SIM card and it lasts me a month. So I was like, okay, cool. I'm happy with that. I'm curious, what are they selling? Oh, they're selling nuts. Interesting. Okay, just nuts. Hola. Whoa, it's so crazy here. I'm not used to being in this small town for a bit coming here. I'm like, okay, shit. Okay, so according to Google Maps, I gotta head out in this direction. Let's double check. Oh, nope, it's the next one. I could head down this direction. Oh my god, the traffic is so much. But what's good here is that the air quality seems pretty clean. Nah. And everyone's looking at me, okay? So over here, the guy on the left with the blue, blue, blue jacket. He looking at me like he about to steal my shit, bitch. But... <laughs> People find it weird when they see someone talking to a little camera that they're holding to their phone. I'm hoping they think it's a mobile phone so they could just, you know, live their natural lives, etc. Make sure that man isn't following me. 
<gasps> oh my god, they sell acai. Are you serious? All the way here? Of course they would. Next door to Brazil. Oh, but is it good? Let's have a look. Hola! Tu tiene acai. Uh, es azúcar? Acai, sí. Azúcar en acai? Sí, azúcar. Uh, tu acai. Uh, tiene azúcar? Tiene guaraná. Ah, ok. Mm. Ok, gracias, amigo. ¿Cuántos has acai aquí? ¿Cuántos está? 410. Ok, obrigado. Yo visité Brasil y come aquí. I like. <laughs> oh, yeah, acai es para. Ah, uh, from Brazil. Yo? No. Yo visita Brazil. De Australia. Okay, gracias. <laughs> that little short guy is cute. Okay. Oh my god, look at that tower. Okay, so. Am I heading the right direction? No, I need to head one more. Actually. Yeah, I can walk down here. Okay. What's the name of this restaurant? This restaurant might have acai. Seems like a natural place. It's probably gonna cost me. I'm curious how much it's gonna cost over there. Wow, look at the layout of the buildings. It reminds me of Ecuador just a little bit. Like in Quito. So interesting how each city, each country has different things, right? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm not gonna lie, I miss having my hold, my camera hold, because it was easy to wrap it around my hand and talk to you guys. And if anyone tried to steal it, the chances of me being able to knock that person out is high because it was so gripped around my hand. Whoa, fruits and vegetables. <gasps> the pessimists are so big. Oh my God, my favorite. These are so good. I'm gonna come back here. Actually, let's get it now because I might get an Uber home. Let's see how much they are. America. God, it's beautiful in here. Hey, hello. He's guarding the door. How do I get through? Excuse me. <laughs> Hola, I was scared. I didn't know whose dog it was. Check it out, check it out. Arabian. Um, wrap with some kamachi drink. You can see a very flirtatious. I look like shit right now because I'm really tired, dressed because I don't want people to rub me. And they were like hella flirtatious. Or maybe it's just their personalities. Really, really, really nice people. But so far, I feel like the people here are flirtatious. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> I could probably sell it. Whoa. Whoa, 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 the bread shop. You know Spanish people love their bread. None of it is probably vegan. Oh my God, it looks so good though. 